This lesson is called Preparing the Balance Sheet. Now, principles of financial accounting, one of our end goals is to analyze all the activity for a business and at the end of the period, prepare three main financial statements. One of the main financial statements is called the balance sheet. The balance sheet is merely a summary of all of the entity's assets on the left and it shows where we got them on the right either from the bank or other people to whom we owe money. The rest is going to be called the owner's equity. And so we get these numbers right off of our database from uh, video eight. And let's list cash first. And the second asset, let's call it prepaid insurance. I referred to that as prepaid rent last period, but we bought the building and so we don't really need to rent one if we bought one. And so that prepaid asset, let's call that prepaid insurance rather than prepaid rent. Also, we have some inventory at the end of the period. We also have a building less the amount of depreciation and we're gonna call that accumulated depreciation in this lesson. Our liabilities include the note payable to the bank plus the interest payable on that note. Our equity consists of the equity contributed by the owner plus, uh, let's call it increases in equity during the period, minus decreases in equity. And the increases are revenues, the decreases are expenses. And so in the end, we got to make sure that our total assets here equals our total liabilities and equity. And let me move this up just a bit. So our total assets have to equal our total liabilities and our total equity. So preparing the balance sheet is very, very easy once your database is in balance. So looking at lesson eight, we can see that the ending balance in the account cash under the asset category is 86,600. So let's take 86,600 and put it right here. Our prepaid insurance, instead of rent, this is insurance, at the end of the period is 2,200. So let's add 2,200 there. Our inventory, is zero. So we're going to put zero here. The building cost 180 and let's put the $180,000 cost there and then let's subtract the amount we depreciated this month next to it right here. Whenever you take a long-term assets cost and subtract its, subtract its total depreciation to date, we report that number on the balance sheet at its book value. That's an accounting term. It's the cost less depreciation to date. And so all we've done is transferred our ending numbers on our database to the left-hand side of our balance sheet. So if we add up all of these numbers, we're gonna get, actually let's get out the calculator, add these up. We see that we have 86,600 of a cash, 2,200 of prepaid, insurance and 179,500 of building. That's 268,300. The balance sheet assets are 268,300. Now our notes payable to the bank were 210,000 and 1750. So we go interest payable 1750. The note itself is 210,000. So our total liabilities are 211,750. Finally, our equity contributed is 40,000. Our revenues, which we recall from lesson seven, we sold all of our bikes for 30,000. So our revenues here, our equity earned went up 30,000 for revenues. And our expenses, let's see if we can do that in our head. We've got 1,000 for advertising, 10,000 for cost of bikes sold, that's 11,000. 
and I'm gonna just keep a little tally right here. And then after our adjustments, we had expenses of 500, 200, and 1750. That equals 2,450 additional expenses. So our total expenses appear to be 13,450 total. So this is the magic number time. If our liabilities, when added to our equity, and I'm going to put a sub column right there, our equity is 40,000 plus 30,000 is 70,000 minus 13,450. That gives us 56,550 of equity. When added to 211,750, that should equal 268,300. If not, we're going to have to go find our error. So I hit enter. Uh, that's 268,300. Yes, in fact, we do balance. To summarize, a business must prepare a balance sheet, also known as the statement of financial position. This balance sheet at the end of the period or statement of financial position summarizes the economic resources of the business on the left and shows from where did these assets come from. The bankers finance most of these assets. In fact, 211,000 of these 268,000 assets are financed by the bank. The rest has been financed by the owner's contribution plus what it's earned this period. Increases in equity are revenues. Reductions in equity from operations are expenses. The net of these two numbers is the increase in equity that has been earned by the company during the year. This revenues minus expenses will become the basis for our second financial statement in video 10 called the income statement.